Greetings friends, have you ever wondered what an amazing time we live in? Technological progress moves at an incredible speed, so fast that even the legendary Abbott has lived to see the transition to electric version. Most recently the Abbott 5000E electric hot hatch was introduced in Europe, based on the 2020 Fiat 5000E production model. Moreover, the company claims that the electric car has become the best Abbott in history, and even came up with a special slogan for it – more Abbott than ever. But what really makes the novelty the best in its really long history? Of the declared advantages of a gasoline upward, there appeared an optimal distribution of mass, an increased wheelbase, and most importantly, instant reaction to pressing the accelerator pedal. But the stylish hatchback will not have so many differences from the original electric Fiat. For example, the power of the electric motor installed on the front axle is 155 horsepower and 235 Nm against 118 horsepower and 220 Nm for the top version under the Fiat brand. According to these indicators, the electric car is comparable to the Abarth's 595 gasoline hatchback, in which the 1.4 TJ turbo engine produces 165 horsepower and 230 Nm of torque. Installed under the floor is the same 42 kW lithium-ion traction battery as Fiat's, but unfortunately the power reserve is 155 miles according to the WLTP cycle against 185 miles. However, the weight of such an electric hatchback is almost 1.4 tons, which is almost 40% more than that of the Abarth 595 gasoline model, and to our happiness the increased weight didn't greatly affect the dynamics. The developers have tried so hard to give examples in which the electric car is noticeably more dynamic than a gasoline hatchback, and even the more powerful Abarth 695 with a 180 horsepower turbo engine is taken for comparison. For example, acceleration from 40 to 60 km per hour takes only 1.5 seconds versus 2.5 seconds for the petrol Abarth. And if two cars simultaneously start accelerating from 60 km power, then by the time the electric car accelerates to 100 km per hour, the battle Abarth will gain only 91 km per hour. Acceleration from standstill to 60 for an electric car takes exactly 7 seconds, but only if the battery is at least 90% charged. Unfortunately, the indicators with a smaller charge were not shown to us. For comparison, the gasoline Abarth 595 spends 7.3 seconds on this exercise, and the time of the Abarth 695 is 6.9 seconds. As for the maximum speed of an electric car, it is limited at around 155 km per hour or 96 miles, while petrol hatchbacks are gaining 225 km per hour or 140 miles per hour. Three driving modes are also provided. Basic Turismo, engine output is limited to 136 horsepower and 220 Nm, Scorpio Street, full output with recuperation enabled, and Scorpio Track, recovery disabled. On the outside, the updated Italian differs from the original Fiat with different bumpers, extended fenders and a diffuser at the stern. In addition, the novelty received an enlarged roof spoiler, as well as 18-inch wheels that fit seamlessly into the elegant design of the car. It's also hard not to notice the inscription apart, which is located on the front of the hatchback. Let's go inside. In the cabin, we expect sport bucket seats, a modified steering wheel, extended Swiss stream, metal pedals, and other decor. An electro arbor has its own soundtrack. During the start of the car, a guitar riff is heard from the speakers, and special jingles have been prepared for scoring other events. Also, for an additional fee, an imitation of the sound of gasoline arbors is offered, which will allow you to remember the past a little more. Like previous models, the Abarth 5000E is offered as a traditional 3-door and semi-cabriolet with a folding soft top. The welcome version of the Scorpion Nisima is available for order first, with a limited edition of 1,949 pieces in honor of the year Abarth was founded. Such cars have the maximum equipment, glass roof, all-around cameras, GBL audio system and much more, as well as a special decor. The hatchback will cost 43,000 euros, the semi-convertible will cost 46,000 euros, which is quite a lot for an electric car of this type. Simpler options will be available for order from December. Prices have not yet been made public, but electric vehicles will in any case be more expensive than gasoline cars, because even the upper 695 now costs from 30,000 euros. Sales in Europe will begin in June next year, and in addition, Abbott 5000E will appear in South America and Japan. So, that's all I have for you today. I hope the video wasn't boring. Thanks for your attention and time. And see you soon. Bye.